Pakistani Prime Minister slams Memogate whistleblower Mansoor Ijaz. Gilani says that Ijaz has always spoken against Pakistani government. He further adds that the government cannot spend billions of rupees on Ijaz's safety. That's the breaking news coming in. Mansoor Ijaz has been summoned by the Supreme Court. The last date uh, that the Supreme Court gave was till the 24th. He has to appear on the 24th of January uh, in front of the Supreme Court to explain the memo gate, uh, the, the, the memo that was sent to the United States of America through him by the President, allegedly by President Zardari. And now the clarification that has been sought by Mansoor Ijaz, he needs to present himself to the Supreme Court on the 24th. But the Pakistani Prime Minister coming out slamming Mansoor Ijaz saying that while he says that uh, there, are, there is safety that has been assured to Mansoor Ijaz, the, the Pakistani government cannot assure security or has not assured security as well as will not be allowed to spend billions of dollars, billions of rupees on Ijaz's safety. And uh, Rishab Gulati now joins us for more. Rishab, clearly the Pakistani civilian government and Mansoor Ijaz, who is the whistleblower in this entire Memogate scandal, are, have come to a, uh, come to a complete head-on collision, wherein the Pakistani Prime Minister has clearly said that there is no way that they are going to spend billions of rupees on him. Absolutely right. And, and, and of course, suits uh, Prime Minister Gilani not to have Mansoor Ijaz testify. Remember, he is the sole man, the self-proclaimed whistleblower in the Memogate scandal that's brought to the Pakistani army and the government at hammer blows. Now, Mansoor Ijaz was meant to, meant to appear before the Supreme Court last Monday. His next hearing has now been scheduled for January the 24th. He claims that there is a death threat to his life. He wants security. Now, an interesting move, in fact, just yesterday, uh, Gita, it was the Interior Ministry that approved army security of the Rangers and the Frontier Corps, of, or the Frontier Corps to be given to Mansoor Ijaz. But the man is now demanding security in writing. And of course, uh, the Pakistan government not willing to apply. They don't want to see this man that has caused so much trouble to them and, uh, and especially at the cost of the state exchequer.